Being friend-zoned might feel like the end of the world. But here's what you need to realize. How someone feels towards you is not a reflection of who you are. It doesn't make you any less attractive, smart, talented, or kind. Instead of continuously chasing them, do yourself a favor and find someone who values you. It is possible, and you owe it to yourself to find true happiness, not validation. Here are 10 signs someone only likes you as a friend. One, most of your relationship is over text. Do they spend the majority of their time only texting or liking your posts? It might seem endearing at first, but eventually the screen gets old. You might initiate plans to hang out, whether it's as casual as ordering takeout and watching a movie or running errands together. But they always seem to come up with an excuse. Maybe next weekend, they'll say, or sorry, I'm busy. Texting and interacting over social media is easy because there's no commitment. Two, they give you the wrong gaze. Psychologists have discovered there's a certain gaze someone gives you when they're into you. Pay attention to their focus and length of gaze. Researchers found that both men and women stare at their potential partner's chest and hip to waist areas for longer durations. Meanwhile, when people only see someone as a friend, they spend more time looking at that person's feet and legs. Three, they wanna be your matchmaker. Do they often try to set you up on blind dates or nudge you to talk to someone nearby? They know you're single, but have no intention of dating you. So, as a good friend, they'll try to help you in that department. It might annoy or irritate you, but consider it a sign to move on. Four, they go to you with their relationship problems. If you're playing the role of a therapist, they trust you, but it doesn't always mean they see you as a potential partner. You can be the best advice giver, listener, and yes, even the most ideal partner, but unless they see it, you're still ultimately just a friend, someone they can lean on temporarily. Five, they set boundaries. This one is important, but if you're desperate for their attention, you might think they're just playing hard to get. This is not the case, and when someone sets boundaries, be respectful of them, not invasive. If they don't feel comfortable hanging out with you at night or only want to see you limited days throughout the week, don't push, because the very minute you do that, you're only pushing them further away. Six, they never hint that they like you. Ultimately, no matter how shy someone is, when they have feelings for you, they'll eventually show signs or flirt with you. But if you've been friends with them for years now and nothing has come to the surface, chances are they never saw you as more than just a friend. Seven, they don't make you a priority. It's easy for you to put down everything you're doing just to tend to their needs. But if they aren't reciprocating the same efforts, it becomes obvious they just see you as a convenience. Take Emily Owen's advice. Be someone's first choice. She's a fictional character in a medical show, but for the longest time, she was too blind to notice someone else liked her. Unrequited love can make us unaware and obsessive, but it doesn't have to destroy us unless we let it. Eight, they prefer to hang out with you in a group setting. Do they ask to invite another friend when the two of you make plans? They might feel awkward when it's just the two of you, but they probably don't wanna hurt your feelings. Don't get your hopes up if this is an ongoing behavior. Maybe they just need to get some time to know you better. No matter how self-conscious someone is, if they're into you, they would treat a date as a date. Nine, they don't make a move on you. Even the most reserved individuals will make it obvious they like someone. If they don't directly ask you out or confess their feelings to you, they most likely aren't attracted to you romantically. Don't be discouraged. Instead, be thankful for this learning experience and find someone else. 10, deep down you know, but it hurts, so you put yourself in denial. Listen to your gut feelings. Chances are they've been trying to communicate with you since the very beginning, but love can make someone blind and hopeful. Allow yourself to reflect on this moment, take a few deep breaths, and if needed, create some distance between you and this person to allow your feelings to fade. Or if you're feeling extra brave, just tell them how you feel. You might get rejected, but the sooner you get an answer, the faster you can move on. It's not gonna happen overnight, but eventually, someone new will walk into your life and you'll forget all about them. Check out and subscribe to Katsun. She shares her story of coming out, which is inspiring, relatable, and authentic. Please show some support. It would mean not only a lot to her, but to us as well. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up 
And as always, thanks for watching.